Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and um, welcome once again to happy hours of coaching session, our Friday evening talk on um, topics related to agile coaching, transformation and leadership. And uh, today I'm very happy to invite um, one of my friends and one of my um, one of our esteemed speakers in the industry, Rohan, and um, he's going to talk about tools to visualize business agility. And I'm pretty sure um, all of us would be enriched uh, with this learning experience. I'm sure each one of us will take back something back to our workplace when we hear what uh, Rohan has to offer. And yes, I do know the fact that one important thing which will come to our mind is, is tool really important? Because we all say, right, um, I mean, we all are um, aware about this Agile Manifesto value, right? Individuals and interactions over processes and tools. But nevertheless, the manifesto never says that you should never focus on tools. It says that while there is value to the items on the right, we value the items on the left more. I think just reminding everyone what is the manifesto key value. Uh, but yeah, this is not my talk. Um, and I would uh, let um, Rohan do the rest of the honors. So over to you, Rohan. Um, I'll give you the presenter rights and um, you should be able to uh, make a presentation. Just uh, let me know if you're able to present it. And once again, welcome to this Hey, thanks. Thanks, Ashutosh, you know, for the great uh, introduction. And already I see a lot of familiar uh, faces. Uh, hey, uh, good evening, uh, good morning, you know, based on wherever you guys are uh, located. So as Ashutosh uh, mentioned, uh, right, my name is uh, Rohan. Overall, I have around uh, 23 years of uh, experience in the industry, but I'm still learning. And, uh, you know, we uh, believe in uh, collaborating together. So thanks all of you, you know, for uh, uh, joining this session. Uh, the way we would uh, like uh, to do is, uh, you know, of course, um, uh, Ashutosh has already said the context. Um, you know, we will be first uh, discussing whether uh, tools are really important. You know, we'll start from there. Then uh, I, I like to talk a bit about the business agility and the challenges, uh, you know, which we see industry, uh, right, whenever uh, uh, we are uh, you know, trying to implement agility, what are the maturity stages? I'll show you some, uh, you know, what I can say, like screenshots or, uh, uh, you know, now, some of my experiences, uh, you know, I'll, I'll uh, uh, share those with you. And then, uh, you know, uh, uh, actually we have uh, the live tools as well, you know. So I'll give you a glimpse of it. Uh, right, I know uh, I cannot cover all of it, but definitely I would uh, like uh, to give you a glimpse of uh, Safe Collaborate as well as uh, Jira Align. Uh, we will see, you know, uh, some of the business agility assessments. So yeah, this time is very less, but uh, as uh, agile uh, uh, coaches, you know, we have to time box, uh, you know, so definitely uh, I'll try my best, uh, you know, whatever we can do in this time. So thanks and uh, welcome, welcome again. Uh, thank you uh, for joining, you know, so let me try to share my screen now. Okay, so hopefully you can uh, see my introductory slide, right? So uh, today, <clears throat> uh, right, Ashutosh uh, uh, did mention that he wanted, uh, you know, uh, something uh, really challenging and practically helpful, right? Uh, I'm a safe trainer, have done a lot of uh, safe classes over there. Uh, right, uh, uh, we have been going by those slides or the material, uh, the official material. But today, as I mentioned, you know, I'm going to take some uh, things from there, as well as, uh, you know, I'm trying to demonstrate uh, some of uh, these tools. So first of all, uh, right, as uh, Ashutosh uh, uh, hinted, right, um, what is uh, the importance of tools? 
So ideally, you know, when we started, uh, you know, of course, everyone starts with the Agile Manifesto. It does say some things are important. Um, and uh, the most common misinterpretation of the Agile Manifesto is, uh, you know, tools and interactions, documentation, planning is zero. Right. Uh, so I, I don't feel that. And uh, particularly, uh, you know, uh, when we are in this uh, pandemic, uh, you know, uh, tools have been playing a very important role. If it was not for Zoom, you know, we would not have met uh, uh, like we are doing, you know, like we are uh, meeting today. Right. <laughs> uh, now also everyone is uh, planning, you know, and uh, still a lot of people are working from home. Uh, what would we do without those tools? I remember earlier, you know, carrying those post-its, uh, drawing on the whiteboards, you know, that is how uh, we used to do our presentations or, you know, any talk or if I have to conduct a training. But now, uh, you know, these uh, have definitely helped us. So similarly, uh, right, uh, let us touch upon what is business agility, right? A lot of people do feel, you know, getting agile is the development team has to deliver quickly. But uh, we see that that is not the case. We need uh, not just the developers, not just the testers, we need our deployment guys our business, marketing, legal, everyone has to be involved in this particular process, right? Of getting agile, otherwise it would not make any sense at all. So, uh, you know, the broadly what steps, uh, you know, we have been seeing is first uh, we want to do agile. Right, or even if you have a look at uh, some of you might be familiar with Shu Hari. Right, first we have to do agile, we have to forcefully maybe do some of the um, meetings. Uh, earlier it was called ceremonies, now we call them in events. Right, so <clears throat> we have to do that, uh, and uh, that becomes our starting point. Now, uh, is it really working for us? Many times we see that uh, even if they don't work for us, people keep doing those same rituals, right? Like a ritual, or they keep following those events and doesn't really help in the longer turn, uh, longer run, sorry. So uh, we need to measure, right? We need to measure uh, both qualitatively as well as quantitatively. So measuring could involve, you know, whether we are doing the uh, events in the correct way, are we really prioritizing our backlog? You know, there could be various factors. Are we getting support from the senior management, you know, and how good it is? So uh, definitely, you know, uh, we have to start measuring uh, agility. Uh, we have to analyze those results and then inspect and see whether it is uh, helping us, you know, to move from doing agile, we want to go to being agile. And once, uh, you know, we have gone through this uh, transformation, definitely we can say some of the things are good and they are working for us. While we may say that uh, some of uh, the... <clears throat> Uh, you know, maybe the agility principles or, uh, you know, some of the events which we were doing, they are not really working for us. So uh, I am pretty sure uh, those who have worked uh, in Scrum, you know, over here I'm presenting uh, some of uh, the charts where you can see uh, they have uh, come from different tools, right? And uh, we try to analyze, you know, how uh, these are uh, happening. So uh, <clears throat> I have seen in most of the cases, uh, you know, what really happens is the team is not at all updating the charts, right? 
Why? Because they are not updating the tools and ultimately, you know, they are not able to reach, um, you know, the desired outcome. No one is able to visualize till day eight, you know, the team is confused whether we are on track or we are not on track. And finally, on the last day, you know, people update the tools. So, uh, you know, uh, whether you are using Jira, you're using Microsoft TFS or whichever way, uh, when I get engaged uh, with these teams, you know, I request them uh, to keep updating the tool, you know. In fact, uh, uh, I recommend doing the daily stand-ups in a way that, uh, you know, have you updated the tool? In the daily standups, uh, I have added this mandatory question because it does not give us the complete visibility, right? I'm starting at a team level and, uh, you know, slowly I will try to go, uh, you know, uh, towards business agility, right? So as you see, you know, many times it happens that uh, we get kind of ideal charts. <laughs> Uh, which we know is not the case, uh, you know, uh, maybe someone is uh, making up uh, these kind of charts and um, uh, therefore, uh, you know, we don't get the correct picture whether we are, uh, you know, really able to do things correctly. <clears throat> uh, I am pretty sure, you know, a lot of you must have seen these charts, uh, whichever tool you are using, provided <clears throat> the developers, the testers, or the people in the team, they update it regularly, you know, we can have a lot of meaningful uh, inferences. So right now I'm showing the cumulative flow diagrams, right? And uh, these cumulative flow diagrams should be as parallel as possible. That is the basic test. You know, wherever you see uh, there are challenges, you know, bottlenecks, uh, you will see that uh, over here, you know, nothing has been done from some time. Uh, somewhere you will see the flow has shortened. So uh, we are able to understand that, uh, you know, it's not happening in a good way. Um, in large enterprises, you know, particularly when we are looking at the business agility, uh, SAFE provides a measure and grow framework. So I have posted uh, the link over here. You know, uh, you can see, uh, I have also shared the link so uh, the way uh, SAFE recommends uh, to measure business agility is that at the team and technical level, you know, everyone has to share where we are doing, are we doing good or are we struggling, how we are doing in agile product delivery, you know, uh, is that the right way, how are we doing on the enterprise solution delivery, right? So on each of these parameters, uh, we can measure whether we are progressing towards business agility. Uh, this will be helpful for, um, you know, a lot of organizations so that they can understand what are their improvement areas, you know? So if you see over here, it seems, you know, this area is a bit starved, you know, so there are some improvement areas over here. Or if you have a look, uh, you know, there is a need for improvement in this area. We have to figure it out. <clears throat> uh, you know, this becomes our improvement plan. Uh, so maybe when we are doing the assessment next time, uh, probably in the next quarter, uh, we should uh, try to see, you know, if uh, there is some progressive improvement, right? So uh, there are many tools available, Agility Health Radar, Comparative Agility, you know, they provide these kind of tools wherein we can roll out uh, questionnaires, right? These questionnaires can be, um, uh, let me show you the questionnaire. These can be customized, 
right uh, definitely um, these questionnaires are customized uh, right now i am showing you in the raw form now this is exactly where i have taken this from and if you see uh, of course this is from scaled agile uh, you know when we are doing team and technical agility there are a series of questions for which uh, we have to answer uh, you know on a scale of 5 uh, whether we are following it or we are not following it is it applicable for us or it is not applicable for us right so uh, <clears throat> this questionnaire has to be rolled out with all the team members with the business guys with the product owners our stakeholders and we can take an opinion from everyone you know how are we doing on these areas so uh, we will get our assessment right as i mentioned we will understand how to improve uh, over here now uh, safe uh, scaled agile uh, you know provides uh, these kind of templates i have struggled a lot when i am doing the retrospectives right where to quickly set up uh, a template uh, maybe when we are doing feature storming you know uh, how to give visibility to our stakeholders how to work collaboratively uh, with the uh, you know as we were discussing uh, with the pandemic uh, now we see a lot of uh, new tools uh, which have come in mural miro you know wherein you have a lot of white boards instead of the regular boards now safe collaborate uh, provides this tool and i have set this up in a matter of minutes you know i am going to show you uh if you have to say set up this sale board retrospective wherein uh, we want uh, you know first to identify what are our goals right uh, so this area let me pick another color the blue one okay so you know uh, like uh, these are our goals um over here what are our risks um as you see uh, i had rolled it out for some of the team members they did voting on it you have uh, you know a track of time and uh, the access right the admin access uh, is available uh, to those who are certified but uh, you know others also can participate for free so you can just join the particular forum mentioned over here i'll show you a live demo as well right and everyone can add their thoughts you know what is helping them and what are uh, the obstacles what are the anchors which are hindering in the way of uh, <clears throat> you know our agility uh, maybe in the last iteration it depends you know uh, when we are doing this kind of uh, retrospective right so uh, many such uh, templates are available in uh, safe collaborate uh, i will give a demo right uh, right now i'm just uh, setting the context uh, over here and then we have another tool which is jira align right so in jira align uh, the hierarchy which is uh, uh, proposed by safe right as is uh, the entire hierarchy is also available uh, in jira align it is 100% compatible and we will uh, have a look uh, you know along with an example how we can do it exactly right so uh, i think uh, yeah it's uh, 20 minutes already so we may have time for these two tools you know if we have more time uh, definitely i will take you through uh, some of the other tools as well right uh, but uh, uh, yeah uh, let us try and uh, see you know how exactly it is going to work so uh, i Okay, let me find see collaborate. Okay, right. I hope you are able to see my browser now. 
right? So in this browser, I am showing you this particular template, right? Which I use for safe collaborate. So uh, as you see, uh, you know, if I copy the forum number and if I put it in the chat, you know, you all also will be able to access it. So I am copying the link and uh, I have put it in the chat. In case you want to try, it will just ask you for your name and email address. So you can also participate if required, or if you want to see the demo, you know, you are more than welcome to see the demo, right? As uh, people start joining in, you know, we will start seeing their names over here. Everyone can just go to the add item and uh, they can add, <clears throat> you know, uh, new items over here. So uh, this is going to make, uh, you know, if you see it's uh, visually very pleasing and uh, as you must have already seen um, that uh, it is interactive. I see, okay, some uh, uh, comments uh, coming up uh, over here, you know, and at real time, uh, we can uh, use this type of template. So um, I tried it uh, with uh, some of uh, my team members. In fact, uh, um, I have done more than 165 uh, sessions in Safe Collaborate and I have earned a black belt because of it. You know, I have explored various templates which are available. I find it uh, really cool uh, to immediately, you know, come up uh, with uh, these kind of interesting templates we can do a voting round you know as you see we conducted uh, a voting i can add a new round uh, say friday voting right and uh, we can start it right so uh, people can join in they can do the votes we can see that in real time so it is uh, very helpful for everyone you know, to have a look. So, yeah, I'll stop it uh, uh, because, uh, you know, we don't really want to go into a lot of details. So there are more than 150 templates. You know, if I click on Safe Collaborate, there are uh, more than 150 templates uh, which are available. So these are all the events. Now, uh, whenever I conduct a safe class, uh, you know, I, I definitely use it. I use it for retrospectives, you know, for the tracking the risk. We can do roaming of risk and so on. But uh, let me show you the main things. Um, and uh, quickly, I think uh, we'll have to move to the next tool as well. So if you go to the templates, you will see there are 150 templates. Uh, right from story maps, I have found it uh, very useful um, uh, to document uh, the stories, you know, to get ideas on the features. And these can be exported to Excel. You know, of course, you have a good visual view. You know, they can be exported to Excel and uh, imported as well. So no need to type again and again. Uh, whichever uh, <clears throat> um, uh, templates are recommended by SAFE, you know, you will be able to see all those templates over here, right? So I hope I'm not going very fast <laughs> and uh, you are able to see, but yeah, definitely a lot of templates. So we worked on the retrospective. If you want to see the SAFE implementation roadmap, you know, uh, you can have a look at it. If you want to track the risks, there is a Rome board. So you can use uh, this board as well. Okay. So, yeah, if you want to do remote uh, planning poker, you know, uh, we can do uh, remote estimation. It is very friendly, you know. Um, in the starting, I have seen some people struggle. Uh, they are looking for uh, ideas, uh, you know, or they are looking for help. But once you use it, uh, you know, for 
couple of times, two, three times, four times. It is super user friendly. You know, you get used to it. Over here, you can see this is the fishbone diagram, problem solving board, SWOT analysis, TAUS analysis, and many more, right? So, yeah. Um, so, <clears throat> Uh, this is one tool. Uh, in fact, if there are any questions, uh, we can open it for questions maybe for five, seven minutes, Sashutosh. On safe collaboration. Yeah, sure, sure. Uh, sure, we, we can, can do that. to the next tool, <laughs> you know, so yeah. this could be a logical. Sure. So participants, um, if there are any quick questions, uh, you can now unmute yourself and uh, you can ask a question to Rohan. You'll have to unmute yourself if there are any quick questions. Uh, if you don't mind, uh, could you please share this URL where we can get these templates? Unless until if it is customized and specific to your uh, course. Yeah, please. Ron, you are mute. Ron, you are on mute actually. Can you just unmute yourself? Oh, no, sorry. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, now you can see yeah. it. Yeah, yeah I have I have posted uh, the link in the chat window. <clears throat> so uh, regarding access, right? Uh, like uh, someone will have to create it. Uh, if you are safe certified, you all, you know, those who are safe certified, they have access to it. They have admin access, meaning they can create new templates. Otherwise, uh, I have shared the link in the chat window. And before leaving, I did see, you know, six, seven people had already joined as well. Hope that answers. I think it was Hema, right? Or Heman. I miss seeing. Okay. okay. Thanks. I'm, I'm just joining now. I'm just joining now. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Anyone else? Yeah, yeah. Go ahead, Babu. Yeah, this is Babu. Uh... Uh, thanks for sharing all this information. But um, a quick question on this: Is this template or or the tool is uh, a framework agnostic, or like is it only can be specifically used for uh, scaled agile? Yes, uh, primarily it is for scaled agile, and it is a tool which is developed by scaled agile. Okay, so yeah. the tool you can customize. And... The templates can be customized, but the answer is primarily it is for skilled design. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome. And uh, Rowan, one question in the chat. So you need to be obviously, uh, if your license is expired of safe, you cannot access them, right? Uh, no, I don't uh, think so. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Correct. Okay. So that was a question from Pradeep. So Pradeep, yeah. I mean, you need to be a safe uh, license should be there or you should be existing certificate holder to access this. There are two ways. Uh, either you pay a small fee and uh, mm -hmm. get uh, recertified, or you take a higher okay. certification. You know, those are the two options. True, true. Okay, true. Thank you. So, yeah. uh, the next tool, uh, right, in the interest of time, let me uh, take the next one as well. Right. Uh, so, we see this is the requirement hierarchy in SAFE, right? From the enterprise level, we get the strategic teams. The strategic teams are men, uh, measured by OKRs, right? And nowadays, everyone is crazy of OKRs. They want the objectives, key results. But how to track it? You know, you can set the, the OKRs. But if you are not able to track them, if you are not able to measure them, uh, we cannot achieve business agility, right? Uh, so um, these uh, strategic teams, they influence all the backlogs. They influence the requirement hierarchy in SAFE. Typically, uh, you know, they influence uh, the portfolio backlog, you know, which is at the EPIC level. EPICs are broken into a lot of features. So, uh, you know, uh, uh, you have to then track these features and ultimately, you know, we will be tracking these stories. So SAFE uh, has tried to make it a lot business friendly. 
uh, because uh, not just the developers or the testers, right? The marketing guys, the legal, everyone can use because every backlog, you know, it can be done uh, by Kanban. Kanban is a uh, visual board, right? So um, the new uh, releases of uh, Jira Align, I did use in one of the engagement. With that, uh, you know, I want to uh, give you a quick demo, you know, uh, how these things can be tracked, right? So this is Jira Align. Let me just uh, refresh uh, over here. So uh, when we are uh, uh, having a look, right, uh, we have, uh, uh, you know, if we click the side menu, you will be able to see that uh, uh, we have the portfolio level, we have the portfolio Kanban, you know, at the topmost level, we have the strategic themes. They are related to the epics. You know, you can document your personas, your vision. If uh, we do not have a vision, uh, who is going to do it? You know, if we do not have the personas and we cannot measure our objectives and key results, right? Uh, business agility, as we say, you know, uh, when we try to mature it, it does it will not make sense at all. So uh, right now I am showing you this, uh, you know, let us start, uh, say, our strategic team, uh, right? Um, so this is uh, the strategic teams page, right? And uh, you can see maybe our objective is to increase uh, customer engagement. Uh, this is our objective. And the key results, you know, this is what we want to measure. Now, uh, what this tool does is it links each and every story, you know, whatever we are doing with this high level objective. You know, so if you have uh, completed, say, a feature, how uh, this feature is going to influence the key result? Does it really influence? Um, is it working? Can we say we have achieved our key result, say 100% or 75%, 50%, whatever are those numbers, those numbers will come bottom up and get aggregated at the topmost level. So I have tried to do this same case, right, where uh, I have created uh, strategic teams over here. If I click on this strategic theme, you know, you will see uh, when we expanded uh, you know it uh, it says okay what are the annual goals where is the investment coming from what are the dates you know it tracks it in uh, real time uh, you can track uh, the objectives as well so <clears throat> you know we will see that uh, this was our objective you know reducing the membership churn so in this way, you know, um, I think uh, this is a very good tool. Uh, right from the story level, you know, uh, if you see over here, uh, the portfolio is linked to it, the program is linked to it, we have an owner, we can choose uh, the uh, uh, sprint, the dates, and are we meeting, you know, what is the planned value? What is our desired value? You know, uh, we can enter all of it and uh, track it, right? So uh, in the similar way, you know, uh, at the solution level also we have, oh, okay, sorry. Uh, at the portfolio level, let me show you the Kanban board. So, uh, if you see at uh, this level, you know, we have the, uh, you know, all the Kanban boards which are linked uh, throughout the organization. Let me try to find mine. Okay. <laughs> Probably it's not there. No, it is there. 
maybe I'm not typing the name correctly. Okay. Um, so uh, maybe I'll show at the program level, you know, so at the program level also, we have this uh, program room. So these are the two programs, you know, which we have created. And for every PI, for every program increment, one second. Yeah, go to the program board where we will see, <clears throat> you know, all the teams and how they are aligned, right? So over here, we have uh, documented all our teams. We have set them up as there is an enterprise license, right? Everyone is linked. So this, this is what the Kanban team is working on. This is what the Scrum team is working on. Uh, we have two programs over here. And you can see that we can track each and every feature. Whenever we track a feature, if the data is entered correctly, right, uh, they, uh, uh, the tool is uh, going to highlight uh, what all problems uh, you are able to see. And from here, you know, we can track to each and every feature, right? Uh, who is responsible for doing the feature? When is the target start? When it is expected to complete? In this feature, how many stories are there? And whatever is the progress, right? That gets linked directly, you know, till the topmost level. That is uh, everyone, uh, you know, uh, are we achieving our uh, strategic uh, theme? Uh, which is the objective, uh, you know, where we are doing good? Which is the key result which is affecting, right? We can trade through each and every level. So if you saw right by that, uh, we have linked uh, the epic to the particular program and we can go story-wise as well, right? Uh, so we can go drill it down till the story level and uh, find out you know, which team is doing it, are they successful, what are the efforts? So uh, we can also establish the dependencies. Uh, in fact, um, you know, um, when we are linking uh, in a large program in an enterprise uh, for business agility, we not need to know right uh, what are the dependencies between various teams and uh, when they need to be completed. So if we go over here, you will be able to see uh, for every dependency, you know, uh, who is responsible and by when they want to complete it. There are various uh, maps. In particular, you know, I like this wheel view, right? Wherein we are able to track in a visual way, right? In a graphical way, that uh, program two is dependent on program one. Uh, the fox team is waiting for uh, the horse team and so on, right? And it's not just showing the dependencies. I will say it is also uh, tracking it date wise. So triggers come and whenever we open in our dashboard, you know, we get a good idea. In this way, uh, you know, uh, you can see even at the team level, you know, what is the status of the team? I had shown some uh, diagrams earlier also, the burn down charts, right? They are at the team level, at the story level, uh, uh, iteration level. Uh, we can track, you know, how the teams are doing, what is their implication on the program, on the portfolio, and ultimately to the organization. So yes, uh, definitely there is a lot to explore in this tool, uh, right? I can go on and on, but I like to, uh, you know, understand if there are any questions at this stage before we move on. 
do you find this interesting you know how to track i believe yes sir. anyone with the questions you can unmute yourself and ask So I hope uh, we are audible. Uh, you can just unmute and ask because I think um, we'll just uh, we're just taking a pause here before we uh, continue. Okay. It seems uh, uh, no questions as of now, right? So uh, you know, um, as I was uh, mentioning, you know, we can relate each and every activity uh, over here. But there's something in the chat. Yeah. Okay. So um, you know, and uh, we can see see that visually, right? Uh, there are a lot of uh, reports which uh, we can generate. Right, uh, maybe if we have a look at uh, this uh, backlog, right, a uh, lot of times uh, we can see, um, you know, we are not aware uh, if all the things in the backlog are covered. There is uh, compatibility of uh, this tool uh, with Jira as well, you know, so Jira and Jira Align and Jira uh, from a, are both Atlassian products. You can import your data from uh, Jira over here and you can sync it back as well, right? Uh, so I think, oh, that's the question someone uh, asked as well. So uh, there is 100% uh, compatibility uh, between them, you know, so uh, it can happen that uh, you can use Jira Align at the enterprise level to track your OKRs and maybe not disturb the teams, you know, who are already maybe using Jira uh, for tracking their stories. So ultimately, uh, but uh, we have to define the mapping in that case, which means, you know, we are going to write the stories only in Jira uh, and uh, probably the features and uh, uh, above, you know, that we will be doing it in Jira line or, you know, whatever is uh, uh, the configuration required by the organization. If the organization, uh, you know, you feel that uh, we are going to use this uh, tool only at the Epic level, uh, mainly for creating these kind of dashboards, you know, so you can use it at the epic level and the programs and the user stories could be at the um, Jira level. So sorry, I missed uh, who had asked the question. I think Yogesh, right? But uh, hopefully that uh, answered, right? Hmm. Okay. Ron, I have a quick question uh, here. Can I ask? Yeah, sure, Asit. Yeah, uh, Ron, uh, based on the um, uh, um, uh, Jira line part, uh, I'm just trying to um, uh, tra track my previous experience. Is it very similar to Kanvanai's uh, approach? Uh, uh, some extent, I can uh, see maybe you already use Kanvanai. Uh, is it? Yes, uh, definitely it is Kanvan plus plus, uh, right? Uh, a lot of things uh, have been added. If you see, uh, you know, uh, all uh, uh, number one thing, right, as I mentioned, A to Z compatibility, you know, till now I have been trying to find any flaw or any leak over here, you know, uh, wherein we cannot track from uh, right from top till bottom, I have not been able to find because uh, they have given facility for all of it. As you see, uh, yeah, rightly you mentioned that there is a tool Kanban, uh, Kanbanize, uh, and uh, I've also worked on that, right? Uh, but uh, uh, that is only for the Kanban boards, right? Uh, over here, uh, what we have uh, seen is, you know, all kinds of uh, users, be it Kanban, be it Scrum, the uh, uh, iteration, till the PI planning and uh, at the portfolio level, everything is captured. So thanks for asking us, hope that helped. Yes, sir, Ron. Thank you. Thank you very much. 
Hey, cool. Thanks. So uh, with that, uh, oh, some other question? Yeah, so there's a question yeah. on Jira and um, yeah, maintenance, I think. Yeah, that's a question. Oh, well, uh, uh, Yogesh, uh, thanks for uh, uh, you know asking the question. Uh, uh, you know, you can maintain, you know, you can have this as your only tool, you know, so that is also possible. Uh, many times what we have uh, seen is, you know, team struggles to learn a new tool. Although I, I don't see there are any challenges uh, in learning this simple tool. But uh, even the enterprise-wide, you know, licensing and all becomes an issue. So <clears throat> the choice is yours. You can maintain both Jira Align and Jira, or it could be completely Jira Align. Uh, after this tool, I don't see there is a need of any other tool. Hope that answers. Right. Okay, cool. Welcome. So, um, I'll, uh, you know, like to summarize, uh, you know, so definitely uh, what uh, I'm trying to say over here is, uh, oops, yeah, uh, not uh, really, you know, uh, over here, we are not saying that tools are everything, but in your journey, right? Uh, if you have to match your... Oh, sorry, sorry, I have a question. Sure. Uh, you mentioned here is in the portfolio backlog, it starts with an epic, right? Yes. And how about an initiatives, right? Uh, um, are yes. We, uh, where in which uh, Agile framework that initiative also fall, falls in? Yes, uh, over here, uh, uh, thanks Thanks for asking this question. And definitely, you know, when we are looking at uh, the uh, product, right? So any ideation, if you see there are ideas and uh, I was also, you know, in my engagement working at the portfolio level. So we can capture, uh, you know, the ideas. So right now there is no idea over here, but uh, we can create an idea. Uh, we can put it to voting. It will also go through its own stages, you know, which can be represented in a Kanban. Uh, those stages could be, it could be in the funnel, then it could be analyzed. We can add an MVP. We can add a lean business case. And then if uh, funding is approved, right, it can go ahead. So yeah, you can create uh, these ideas. You can put it to voting then they will go through the analyze stage. And uh, if they get funding, we can create epics out of it. Uh, hope that was what you were looking for. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Thanks. Welcome. So cool, thanks uh, for reminding me as well. Uh, right, uh, so I had, uh, uh, in the interest of time, I did skip uh, the ideation part. But uh, yeah, you know, you can uh, create new ideas and uh, manage them end to end as well over here. Okay. Any other questions, right? Uh, when we spoke, uh, you know, of course we can track the stories, the defects, the team objectives, estimation, impediments, Sorry, sir, Rohan, this Jira Align is in the latest tool in the uh, entire Jira platform? Atlassian. Uh, this is from Atlassian. Yes, this is a new tool. Okay. So yeah. it has I, all the, hope it has all the features like what is currently in the market in, in terms of yes. product output model, UI, UX, and whatnot, right? Correct, correct, so, correct. It has yes. all the features. Can we call this tool as for uh, for all the uh, uh, software, uh, the for all the uh, we can say for whatever the work, uh, it's a development, it's an operations. Will only one tool we can call it as a single source of truth for everything? Uh, yes, as per my experience, you know, I have found uh, 
uh, all all things over here right so they were there okay yeah so thanks thanks hemant and uh, yeah in case uh, there are uh, any more questions uh, you know i hope uh, uh, you have my linkedin uh, and uh, let me put it in the chat window no you can connect with me uh, on uh, you know my linkedin address i have just uh, posted that in the chat window right i uh, have conducted more than 200 trainings and uh, uh, my expertise is more towards the lean portfolio management right at the top level or the release train engineer you know so those who are aspiring to grow in their role uh, you can feel free to connect uh, you know with me and uh, thanks atul tosh uh, you know for uh, providing this great platform where you know we could do at least some discussion and show how these tools are uh, going to help in your agile agility journey uh, thanks thanks rohan i think uh, this was a good uh, trailer i know it is very difficult to compress everything into one hour session but nevertheless i think we did get an insight into two of the uh, tools and as you said right i mean you really cannot survive without a tool right however people say right i mean zero tool is a myth actually i mean no one can say that okay i will do everything um, i mean we all know what happened with the pandemic right as you rightly pointed right I think those were the immediate savers uh, which were there with us, right? Uh, so may I request um, people can, if you can come on camera, uh, it, it is good to see the uh, face behind the name also. I think we had a lot of people who are asking questions also. Yeah, I can see Emma Kumar there. Thanks, Emma Kumar. But others also requesting if you can come on camera so that um, it helps us uh, to identify you. I mean, not that um, this is some kind of a interrogation session, but just it's always better to... Yeah. No. Thanks. And yeah, with a lot of conferences happening, I've started meeting people also now in face to face. Yeah, I have started meeting people also in a lot of face to face uh, sessions. So yeah, I mean, um, I might be in uh, Bangalore in two weeks from now. So I mean, would be more than happy to meet uh, people, folks in Bangalore, and I'll let you know. Uh, in any case, I think uh, yeah, uh, we might have another session from Rohan also. Maybe we'll give some time for you to digest this. Um, and then maybe some other aspects of other tools, which uh, probably Rohan um, can um, uh, actually uh, cover it. So Rohan, with your permission, I'd just like to share uh, my screen for a moment, if that's okay. Sure, definitely. Yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, yeah, thanks, thanks um, everyone for coming in. Yeah, and it is um, wonderful to see a lot of uh, faces um, in the chat also. Yeah, and um, yeah, so so one, one quick thing uh, before uh, we move ahead. Yeah, so first of all, yeah, really wanted to appreciate Rohan uh, for uh, the hard work he has done. I know he was traveling, he had some travels also to take care of, but in spite of that, um, he could make it and uh, deliver um, a good um, a session for all of us. So, so first of all, really appreciate uh, Rohan for this. And as I said, right, we have four speakers coming up in the weeks um, moving ahead. So this happy hour of coaching is for you all. Okay, it's not, um, I mean, many people um, think that it's only I who speak. No, I would like to give opportunities to others to also speak. So if you have any good speaker in mind, uh, do let me know. Um, we will connect with him uh, or her and uh, we'll try to arrange a session for that uh, speaker. And yes, I mean, one small uh, token of um, appreciation for Rohan. So just, I know this is nothing but just thought of um, appreciating you uh, for the good work, what you have done. Uh, so so this is what um, we'll be sharing um, with you. And thank yeah, you, as Rohan thank you so much, Josh. Yeah. It's my and pleasure. As Rohan mentioned... <laughs> this is a bonus. Uh, right. <laughs> I, I was not expecting this at all. Thank you so much. Yeah, no, that's okay. I mean, um, it's a small way of uh, motivating, I would say. And yeah, I mean, Rohan has got a lot of other interesting topics. So he's not a tool guy. I don't know how many of you have some, heard his Shole talk. I mean, you should definitely watch his uh, Shole talk. So I happen to watch that in real time, actually. So definitely we can um, uh, have Rohan request him to do that. Um, I mean, that's a very interesting talk he has on the Shole movie and the characters and the scenes and the memes which are there. So that's the lighter side of his uh, speaking abilities, uh, which I'm saying here. And yeah, uh, for those of you who are not aware, we uh, this, uh, uh, this telecast will also go on YouTube. So we have a YouTube channel. Uh, in case you are interested, uh, do scan this QR code. You can also connect uh, with me um, on um, LinkedIn. Uh, we'll be happy to take it forward. And yeah, 
looking forward for more speakers, more insightful topics, um, more learning um, as we go along. Uh, so definitely the journey will continue ahead um, as we move along in 2023, right? Um, so I think um, on that note, I think um, we are good to close the session. Any last comments from anyone before we finally wrap up? So Ashutosh, when are you coming to Bangalore? Uh... Uh, the date is not final. I'll let you know. <laughs> Maybe you can. I, I'm part of your email communication. Just let me know mm. if I meet. Sure, 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 sure. Definitely, I'll let you know. Yeah. Specific yeah. topic. We'll have to meet in person. Yeah. yeah. With, and also, a lot of conferences starting. I think across the country. I think it's a good opportunity for us to network. So there's a couple of conferences happening in Pune, Gurugram also coming coming months. Um, so let's see. I mean, hopefully we should uh, meet in some of these uh, forums in a face-to-face -face setting. Yeah, anyone else? A last comment, anyone, before we finally wrap it up? Okay. Uh, yeah, so thanks. Thanks once again for investing your precious time and um, have a happy Friday and a great uh, weekend to all of you. And once again, thanks, Rohan. Bye for now. Yeah. Thanks, Rohan. Thank you so much. Thank you. Have thank a great you. weekend. Yeah, have a great weekend. Bye. Yeah, thank you. Bye-bye.